Okay, my boy. I know you're old and you're a little bit senile, but we have to get this right. When you need to pee, you have to walk all the way outside. You can't just walk to the door and pee on the door frame. It's only a few steps, but I know you can do it. Look, I get you all depressed because, you know, mommy is not here and you two have an extremely unhealthy codependent relationship, but lying in bed all day and moping is not going to help. I think you should come out once in a while and socialize with the rest of us. You, you little bastard, need to chill out on being a permanent asshole, okay? You can't growl at anything that isn't going your way, which apparently is anything anyone does. Don't turn away. Don't, don't you turn away. Okay, firstly, this jumping in the pool and then rolling in the dirt has got to end. Especially if you're gonna then run into the house. I can only hose you down so much. You're a golden lab, not a brown one. Let's just try and keep it that way, please. Then, my girl, I love you dearly. I, I really do. But at night, you snore like a lumberjack. Seriously, it, it keeps me up at night. Lex, you are killing me, girl. You're absolutely killing me. I want you to listen to me very carefully. Not every gust of wind or falling leaf is trying to get you and does not need to be barked at. Then, I'm not sure what game you are playing, but I am not enjoying it. You need to stop stealing daddy's shoes and hiding them in the garden. I can't go looking for my shoe every time I need to leave the house. Okay? Please work with me on this. So you're at a bar and you ask your host or hostess for a knife because you need to cut the meat. They will bring you the knife and when they hand it to you, they will tell you with a straight face, be careful. It's very, very shy. My grandmother always said that seduction is a two-part game. First you have to seduce the mind, then you have to seduce the body. I had a fairly traumatizing childhood.